The state baseball team is making its first appearance in the conference tournament since 2005. The Sycamores have the number two seed and we're facing third seeded Wichita State tonight. ISU staggered into the postseason, losing their final three games on the road at Missouri State. Those struggles continued tonight. Sycamores led seven to six heading into the eighth inning. That is when things came unraveled. Wichita State scored eight runs in the top half of the eighth. At last check, the Sycamores were down 15 to seven in the top of the ninth inning. Doesn't look good there for ISU. ISU will now face the number six seed in the tourney, Illinois State, tomorrow. They'll wrap up pool play on Friday with a game against Southern Illinois. Well, a big reason for the Sycamores return to prom prominence this year is because of their head coach, Lindsey Meggs, was named the Missouri Valley Conference Coach of the Year for the job he did in 2009. He turned around a team that finished 18 and 32 last year to winning more than 30 games this year and finishing second in the league. Meggs is the first Sycamore skipper to earn the honor since Bob Warren did it back to back years in 1983 and 84. This is Meg's third season at the helm for Indiana State. Well, continuing with the local baseball theme tonight, Rose Holman Jr. Tim Teepee had one of the best seasons in school history and all the postseason honors he's been racking up certainly back it up. His last honor being named All American. Teepee is just the fourth baseball player in school history to become a D3Baseball.com All-American. This year, he set school records with a 485 batting average, 792 slugging percentage, 87 hits, 57 runs scored, and a 28-game hitting streak. The Engineers finished their fourth ever trip to the NCAA tournament with a 32-14 and record. Dropping down to the high school ranks now, Vincennes Lincoln having another great season playing Terre Haute North tonight. Alice is out to an 8-0 lead in the third. Two in scoring position for Jared Eller. This one's going to fall in front of the left fielder. Two runs score on the play. That would make it 8-2 Lincoln. North's bats, they were pretty much done after that. Alice's win tonight by a final score of 10-3. Heading north on 41, Terre Haute South was visiting the Rocks of Rockville tonight, top of the seventh. Game tied at six. A.J. Reed on third. Josh Dove at the plate drives this pitch deep to center field for the sack fly. Reed scores. That gives the Braves the 7-6 to six lead. Bottom seven, Rocks down to their final out. Runners on first and third, but Tyler Goldman gets the batter swinging to end the ball game. South wins a close one tonight, 7-6 over Rockville. It was raining tears of joy at Terre Haute North tonight. The Lady Patriots honoring their seven seniors before their game against Northview. This was a defensive gem until the fourth inning. That's when North went to work with the bats. Runner on first for Kelsey Rosselli. She finds the gap in right center field, and that is trouble because Kelsey Rosselli can fly. Here comes Lindsey McBride from first. She'll score. The throw gets away, and here it is, the most exciting play in sports, the inside-the-park home run. That made it two zip Lady Patriots in the fourth. They go on to win tonight, 7-1 over Northview. More softball action. Riverton Park coming off their first two losses of the season. Coming into this one against Terre Haute South, top of the first. Megan Vincent blasts that deep one into left field. Haley Chambers scores, and giving RP the one nothing lead. Bottom one, Haley Chambers gets Tiffany Fendrick swinging to end the inning. The freshman from Riverton Park struck out 30 batters in last night's 14-inning loss to North Putnam. It's amazing she had anything left in the tank tonight. South beat the Panthers, though. 5-1 to one was your final score. That is a wrap for Sports News 10. We'll be right back.